Right, no entry without an invitation. If you don't have one, you can bugger off that way. Mm. All right, Katie, in you go. Behave yourself now. So I told the client, you're going to have to owe me double after this man. You should have seen the look on his face. That man nearly gave up the ghost when I said that. Well, can you blame him? You charged him quite an extravagant amount of money for one single job. More than your usual rate. Of course the man was going to be in a state of shock when you told him the price. Well, sure. But that job was no easy task. He failed to give me all the details. Acquiescing the target took a lot longer than expect- Well, aren't you just a darling to look at? Hmm, I agree. Hello. You look rather new here. I don't think I've seen you here before. Have you, Celine? Not at all. I'd have noticed such a thing wandering the floors. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, darling? Well, it's no trouble at all to make sure our guests are... well... looked after. Glad you keep on top of everything like always. Now please, have a seat right here, miss. It would be bad manners if I didn't offer hospitality in my own club now, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, I am the owner. No need to act so surprised or intimidated. I'm just a normal guy who happens to own this club. <laughs> Nothing special in the slightest. My name is Eli, and this lovely lady here is Celine. It's a pleasure. I'm Celine Delacroix. <laughs> oh, no need for such formalities. You make me sound so... Old. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> hmm. Ah, please, though, dear. Call me Celine. And what's your name? Well, that lovely name suits you very well. Indeed. Now, please, I insist that you should take a seat. There. Now, Celine, what would you recommend our lovely guest here should drink? Are you sure? We have the best selections here in London. Alright then, we'll hold off on the drink until later. I have to say, that dress that you have on does suit you quite well. The color is an excellent choice. <laughs> You're quite welcome. <sighs> Not again. I'm honestly getting a headache from this. Hmm? Oh, no, not a problem at all. This is a club, and we usually see this sort of thing from time to time. Celine, could you be a dear and go help Johnny clear that out? Of course. Johnny! We've some more troublemakers for you to handle, sir. <laughs> About time. I was getting bored at the door. Come here, you mongrels. Oh, please be sure not to damage the furniture. Those are brand new. Ah, you don't need to worry about her. Celine may look delicate, but she has been known to hold her own many times. <laughs> now, I'm curious. This establishment is invite only. How have you come to know of my club? 
My flyer, huh? Can I see it? Ah, I see. Well, congratulations for being smart enough to decipher and know what it means. I don't just hand out invitations willy-nilly. I prefer a more intelligent and well-mannered group. I put a little bit of cryptic information on it, hence the extra struggle to figure out what these invitations mean. Of course, like you see behind me, sometimes that well-mannered group can resort to more primitive behaviors. Are you two doing all right over there? <laughs> doing all right, boss. Yes, we have everything under control, Eli. No need to worry. See? Told you she can handle herself. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Why even come to a place like this? You don't really seem like the kind of woman who regularly goes to parties. I see. New in the neighborhood, huh? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to London. Now, I'm not British myself, but I do find London to be a lively area to dwell in. Hence why I've decided to open the Crimson Moon here. Plus, it tends to attract a lot of people in all kinds of... Varieties. Sort of a melting pot, if you will. Of course. Ask anything. What do I do outside of managing a club? Uh, that's kind of difficult to explain, actually. I help people get rid of problems, you see. Dangerous problems. <laughs> yeah, I guess an exterminator would be the right word. But it's a little bit more than that. No, it's fine. I figured it would be hard to understand. How about I talk about it the next time you come back? That invitation guarantees unlimited access. You've already put your name in the records, so feel free to come back anytime. <laughs> Splendid. Splendid. Ah. Looks like Johnny and Celine have just finished. Sorry, Eli. Looks like they were a lot drunker and rowdier than the normal Riff Raff. Yeah, sorry, boss. Got a little feisty one day. Cut me arm a bit. Ah, Johnny. You good? Eh, hey, nothing to worry about, boss. Just a little blood is all. But I think the last day is looking mighty spicy right now. She alright? Oh, my dear, are you alright? You're frightfully pale. And cold to the touch. Hey, miss. Look at me. Are you gonna be alright? Yeah, I guess some people do get a little faint in the sight of blood. Here. I think it's time for that drink. Celine, could you make her a Bloody Mary? Even as a joke, that is not very funny, Eli. Poor thing looks about ready to collapse on the floor. You're right, Celine. I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny to lighten the mood a little bit with a joke, but clearly it was in poor taste. Wait, you're leaving already? Are you sure? Of course, I'd be happy to escort you. Celine, Johnny, could you watch the place till I'm back? Oh, of course. Do take care of yourself, miss. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I hate to see a little thing like you be all miserable. Thank you. Now, this way, miss. Let's get you back home. Will the boss be all right? You don't need to worry about Elijah. He's everything under control.
Glad to see that you're able to walk. How do you feel? Any better? <laughs> no worries. It's the least I can do. Of course. Hmm? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, miss, but we're at least three miles away from the club. There's no way for you to get a drink at this hour or at this time. Please. How about we just continue back home? Take a rain check on that drink. <laughs> nice try. You won't have me to drink tonight, miss. Why don't you kneel for me? There, just like that. You know, there's just something special about one's prey being just so helpless. <laughs> Oh, don't look so surprised. You're not the only one with a secret identity, fledgling. I am Elijah Van Cleef, lich hunter for the Unseen One. And you are an undead vampire. And because of such, I have complete control over you. And you will obey. I know you are thirsty. In fact, I've known what you were since the moment you stepped into the club. I could sense your death aura. And the fact that you gave me a flyer meant for your kind confirmed it. <laughs> oh yes, it contains letters and markings only visible to vampires. It's a little blood sorcery I picked up over my years of immortality. I have been hunting your kind this way for a little while now. Instead of having to find them all the time, they mostly now come to me. It's so simple and brilliant. <laughs> ah, now, what to do with you? <laughs> Let you live? For what purpose? You were in the process of finding people to drink from. Just tell me where I can find your sire, and I'll make your death painless as possible. Or, we can drag this out and... Wait. Come again? Let me see if I got this correct. You were abandoned by your sire for a whole year? Forgive me if I am skeptical and don't believe you. Hmm. There is one way to confirm this. Mind, Peer. Just a quick look at your memories is all I need. Hold fast, fledgling. This won't be pleasant for you. Well, you're in luck. It seems you were actually telling the truth after all. <sighs> I'm sorry, miss. 
I did not mean to put you through such turmoil, but you have to understand, I needed to be sure. No, no, there's no more reason for you to be afraid. I'm not going to kill you. I only kill those who are rampant and feral. You are neither of those things. You have been a vampire for only a year, and on top of that, abandoned by your sire. You don't know anything about being a vampire. It's only natural. Don't worry. Selene can help you. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised you didn't notice. Selene is a vampire, and a very close friend of mine. We can coexist, you know, and she will show you how. But for now, you must rest. When you wake up, your thirst will be satiated, I promise. Now, sleep. Celine, did you get all that? Yes. Dreadful thing. To be abandoned by one sire is such a terrible thing to happen to a fledgling. And to have her be controlled by you. Ghastly. Gives me shivers remembering. I know. But in my defense, the miss here left me no choice. <laughs> and you didn't either when we first met, if you recall. How times have changed for us. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. For the better, even. Shall I take her back to the club? Yes. Have a rest there and prepare a donation bag of blood for her when she wakes, please. It shouldn't be too long before she wakes, and I am sure she will be very thirsty. Of course. Don't take too long, okay, Elijah? <laughs> Don't need to worry yourself. I will be with you shortly. <sighs> A terrible shame it is, young miss, that I could not see the face of your sire inside your mind. It seems your sire can cover their tracks pretty well. And here I thought tonight would be different. A shame indeed. <laughs>